Coming to you from our GIS studios, I am Anicia Antoine and this is your Midday News Brief. In commemoration of International Women's Day, the Ministry of Tourism, Information and Broadcasting, Culture and Creative Industries hosted a retreat to celebrate the women within the ministry. The retreat held under the theme, To Be Female or To Be Woman, highlighted the issues faced by women and the importance of the role women play in society. The day of activities included pedicures, hand and shoulder massages, as well as a makeup class. Samantha Charles, tourism officer within the Ministry of Tourism, expressed her gratitude to the heads of department for organizing such an initiative. Gen Z is lead organizations, um, and even as we hear on the debate with respect to him being at encouraged all women to find their passion. The International Women's Day retreat took place on Friday, March 6, 2020 at the Pink Plantation. The Regional Security System, RSS Headquarters, through the 10th European Development Fund, EDF, has procured much-needed crime scene investigations equipment for member territories of the organization inclusive of a significant amount of CSI items for law enforcement in St. Lucia. The contribution of items will be given to the Scenes of Crimes Office with the objective of improving in the areas of crime scene handling, collection of evidence practices and the overall increase in the detection of crimes. The RSS seeks to strengthen the competencies of law enforcement agencies in St. Lucia with special regards to illicit drug trafficking and drug offenders. Graham Archer, Deputy Executive Director of the RSS, noted that all RSS member states received CSI equipment valued at an estimated 67,000 EC dollars. The handing over ceremony took place on Wednesday, March 4, 2020 at the Sandals Regency Latok Golf Resort and Spa. The Prime Minister of St. Lucia recently visited Miami with the Chief Medical Officer, Dr. Sharon Belma-George, and Chief Environmental Officer, Parker Ragnanen for a meeting with Carnival Corporation and Royal Caribbean Chief Operating Executives. The objective of the meeting is to establish a health clearance protocol between the Ministry of Health and the cruise lines amidst the growing threat and transmission of the COVID-19 in the Caribbean and Latin America. On the agenda was the discussion of mutual concerns in relation to the measures and policies that the government of St. Lucia have enforced to ensure the health and safety of the population and to reduce the entry and impact of COVID-19. This meeting forms part of St. Lucia's risk management and preparedness strategy as the nation continues to mitigate against the arrival of the virus. This has been your Midday News Brief. Thank you for watching.